What's up beautiful people? So let's just get into my Juicy Twist tutorial. So I'm starting off on section hair on freshly washed hair and I'm going to use my As I Am Leave-In Conditioner which I love, 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 love. Raking it through my hair from my roots to the ends. Also, I am detangling my hair as I go. Already kind of did it in the shower, but with thick hair, you kind of still have to, you know, do the best you can. So you are going to want to still detangle your hair with a paddle brush or wide tooth comb. So for my oil, I love using Palmer's Conditioning Spray Oil, spraying that all over my hair, raking it through at the same time. Next, I'm going to use my Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Twist and Set Setting Lotion, which really, really helps with definition and volume. So again, just the same similar process as before, getting that all throughout the strands of your hair, coating it on as even as possible. We're going to section it into even smaller sections because, you know, with thick hair, we love our sections, okay? So from there, one last pass with the paddle brush to get all of the kinks out and we're going to slowly start twisting at the root as tight as possible and then continue all the way down to the tips and I like to do a little coil with my hair around my fingers just to seal everything in. And y'all, that's basically it. I do that throughout my whole head. This probably takes me about an hour, 40, 30 minutes, depends on how fast I work and if I'm doing other things while I'm doing my hair. But again, just detangle as best as you can, put in your leave-in conditioner, put in your oil, and put in your setting spray and begin twisting. As you can see this is the section I have done so far please do not clown me for the parts that is not important okay what's important is how healthy your hair is and how well you rake the products through to get the juicy twist that you want of my hair I just spend my time detangling sectioning putting the product through making sure I'm also taking my time with detangling because it's still in a very important step even if you did do it in the shower you still want to do it again just not as much but still do it again and take your time and make sure that all of the tangles are out finished my hair is still damp it's a perfect time for the moisture to seal in my hair so I'll spray even more olive oil on when I'm done and as you can see I'm finished the only thing I like to do next is just take my hair and take my twist and I'll pin it back with bobby pins as you'll see coming up this is going to get a perfect and nice stretch to your twist out um, not only that but it makes all the twists stay more uniformed and in position My final final steps is I just take one of my favorite silk scarves tied around my head really tightly not too tight to where I'm gonna get a headache <laughs> and then I'll go to bed probably put a bonnet on I also you know throughout a couple of days will wear my twist just in like a cute 
nice organized ponytail until they're completely dry and I will make sure I do a separate video on how I take out my twist and really fluff it to make it nice, cute, and big. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, y'all. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you think. I will be back next week with a brand new video. Follow me on Instagram at Globe Trotter Curls and tell your friends about me. See y'all next time.